Okay, we have Tyron Bradley ready to go. Tyron, just start with the emotions. I mean, <coughs> you guys were on the bottom of it last week, you know, top of it this week. Can you explain what the emotions are like for you, for the team as a whole? Uh, yeah, definitely. First and foremost, you know, I want to give all credit and glory to God today. You know, he was with us out there. Um, but, you know, we had a fighter's mentality all week. We, um, we knew we were going against some adversity. We knew things um, hadn't turned out the way we wanted to last week. And so it was all about bouncing back, you know what I'm saying, and showing not only ourselves and our coaching staff, but also you guys that, you know what I'm saying, this is the team who we are and we're going to fight no matter what. Walk me through both of your um, turnovers. Start with the interception, what happened, and then the strip sack. Did you see the ball sticking out and you thought you can get it? What happened? Uh, yeah, so on the pick, um, I think I was in the skiff drop, and um, I think my uh, my my man on key, he was on the ball, so I kind of gave him a jam, and I just I was just sinking within my zone. Um, we had some great pressure from the field um, by Aubrey Birch. He was able to flush him out and um, get him to just chunk one up, and you know the ball just came right to me, and I just made a play on it. And then um, on the on the sack, I had got a beat on the on the snap count, um, maybe like start of the second half or whatever. So just coming into it, I knew <clears throat> if I could just get off the ball. That I was going to be able to make a play, and then coming into it, you know that that the right side. That's honestly my favorite side to rush on. So, just being able to get off the ball and then just you know what I'm saying fighting and, and continue to show effort and making the play for my team help us get a win. The ball in his hand and try to swing at it, or is it just sort of naturally there? Yeah, it was kind of. I think it was uh, all the drill work we worked um, this week with Coach Vic. It was kind of just an instinct, and I was just reaching, and he pulled it back. You know, he has a weird motion. He tr pulls the ball down and up. So. Um, once he did that, I kind of just reached out and made a play on it. All right. What, what if anything changes as a defense when Coach Leslie moves from the sideline to the box? Uh, nothing. You know, we still got the same mentality. If he was on the on the sideline, you know, it's the same expectations. And um, honestly, uh, um, it's almost like he's still down there. Honestly, we, we don't even notice it. You know, we we expect the same results from from ourselves as a defense. And you know it's it's a, it's a difference. It gives him an ability to to see things faster, maybe give get us the call a little bit faster. But other than that, it's it's no difference for us at all. We we we're going out there playing ball. When did you know that he was going to switch that up and go up there? Uh, he told us earlier in the week that it was going to be some new. Um, I don't know if he wanted to do something different or if he didn't want to get hit again on the sideline or what. <laughs> but um, yeah, he told us earlier this week. As far as the motion goes, obviously last week the defense and how they played late compared to this week, they kind of. Gave you guys a chance to win. What was that mindset and just the feeling this week compared to last week? Um, <clears throat> definitely last week, you know, it was a lot of emotions. That was a, a big game for us in the state. You know, obviously we didn't we didn't finish the way we wanted to. So coming into this one, we were obviously we were down. And we knew if the offense just gave us a chance that we were gonna continue to fight. And you know, like I said, that's been our whole mentality. It's just to show show the Big Twelve, show the, the world that this is who we are as a defense and as a team. Three and out before their last series. So the three and out that got you guys the ball back. Um, they'd run the ball successfully on. How were you able to get the three and out there and stop them? I think guys, you, you know, we just bowed up, you know. Um, we knew if we got the stop that offense was gonna go down and give us some points. Um, at the least we would go to overtime, but we knew if we got, got those guys back the ball, got Gigi back the ball uh, specifically, that we would have a shot. And then it was just up to us to go finish it. After that game-winning play, we saw you run over to the stands and give the ball to your family. Can you describe what that moment was like for you? Uh, yeah, my dad, you know, he, he's, he lives in Georgia, so he drove, I think, maybe 10 hours yesterday in. So um, when I got the ball, it was just – that was the first instinct, was just to get a ball to him. I don't know if they got to give – if he got to keep it or what, but, um, you know, that was just – that was just – that was my first instinct, just give him the ball. And, you know, yeah, it was uh, – that was that. Was there any <clears throat> conversations among the defense in particular during that delay? Now Kansas did start out strong after the delay, but just anything of, you know, we don't want to let this happen again of a week earlier, any rally cry at all? Uh, no, no, not at all. Um, like I said, it started it started Monday for us, you know, the the preparation, and we knew that it was going to be tough. <clears throat> we knew that we were going to have to come in and fight. And the whole time, it was just about us staying steady, you know what I'm saying, not getting too high, not getting too low. And just playing the course of the game and taking what comes to us as a defense and just doing our job overall. Okay, anything else for Tyron? All right, thank you very much. Thank you.